of all, good afternoon, everybody. This is certainly different to be on a Zoom call for a press conference, but I tell you what, I'm excited that we're getting to do it and getting to talk about softball. Um, we're a week out and uh, our team uh, is gonna be exciting to watch this year. If I had to tell you what I'm most excited about this season would be the four people you see on the screen, our graduates, the fact that they all chose to come back and uh, be a part and, and really finish what they started makes me really proud. So I'm excited to have them join us today and talk to you about their experience uh, with South Carolina. But, uh, you know, a quick snapshot of this year's team. Um, this will be the largest roster that I've ever had. Uh, we have 27 on the roster, uh, really 25 active players right now uh, due to injury. Um, I signed the largest freshman class I have in my in my time here, we have 10 uh, talented freshmen that joined this group. And it's been really fun to watch, again, our graduates really uh, be the mentors for this group. Uh, so it's, I think it's great that our freshmen get to experience playing with, uh, with these old ladies on the call here with, uh, with the graduates. So it's been fun to watch the mentorship that's gone on uh, during practice. I think from the offensive side, we've really added a lot more team speed. I've added more lefty hitters. I think we're going to have some more options from the offensive side. Um, in the mound, on the mound is probably one of our strengths. We're deep. Uh, I have seven pitchers on the mound. And I think that's going to bode well based on our schedule this year. It looks a little bit different with a lot more double headers. Uh, just based on what's going on, we'll be playing uh, a few more double headers midweek. Um, we've got some uh, five game weekends, uh, some of these preseason tournaments. So uh, that's going to be a little bit different. And then as you guys can probably note on our schedule, it's a little more regional uh, oriented. So we're going to host two uh, preseason tournaments at home. And then we'll go on the road to Jacksonville and up to Chapel Hill at North Carolina for our for our preseason tournaments before we enter, as you know, the ultra competitive SEC play. Uh, one other notable for us this year will be the first Clemson game. I know we talked about that last season, but that we ended too short to get Clemson in last year. So April 21st will be the first ever uh, Clemson Carolina softball game. And we're really, really excited about that. All right, uh, with that, please use the raise your hand function and uh, we'll call on you and remember, uh, please stay muted. Uh, we're not asking your question. Uh, we're gonna start off uh, with David. Hey, Bev, thanks for doing this. Good to see you again. Um, been a very strange uh, off season. Just um, how weird was it to you to kind of, you know, have to deal with the ending of the season like it did and really have to juggle all the moving parts before getting this team together and then kind of getting practice uh, started for a season that you might not have known it was ever going to happen. Right. I, exactly. I mean, it, the, it's definitely been unprecedented times and um, it's, it's made leading during COVID has definitely presented its challenges. Um, you know, getting the team back together after just being on zoom calls from basically March through the summer. Um, you know, we had to come back to new protocols, what, they they consider new what's normal here at school uh, was different how they eat how they gather um, all of that has changed and I think it really um, everyone has appreciated the lengths we've gone through to be able to practice and to be able to play uh, as you know we didn't play anybody uh, in in the fall so we've just been scrimmaging ourselves and. I am telling you, I think everyone is chomping at the bit to see an opponent, a different pitcher, and just get out there and play again. So I think having to go through all that adversity uh, has really led to a lot of gratitude um, for this group to be able to actually get back out and play again. All right, we'll go to Cam. Hey, also for Coach Smith, uh, kind of going off of Dave's question there, I'm not sure many of us thought that 11 months later we'd still be in the same situation dealing with COVID. How have you been battling, I guess, the, the fatigue of the pandemic with the team having to basically go through two seasons of this now? Yeah, well, you know, it's just uh, the commitment to really come back and, and to be able to play. I think um, our players have been very responsible about uh, staying healthy, keeping the team healthy, because the goal is, 
uh, you know, at the end of this season, they're going to crown a national championship, the national national champion, and we want to we want to be there. And uh, so I think our team has done a great job in, in terms of uh, keeping safe and getting out there and, and really working toward our goals. But uh, it, it, it definitely has been different for us, that's for sure. All right, next up, we'll go with Brandon. Hey, Bev, uh, you kind of mentioned it a little bit already, but can you talk a little bit more about the all four graduate students coming back and kind of when you heard all four were going to come back? Yeah, that that um, those phone calls took place over the summer and uh, Lauren Stewart, I would tell you, was the first one to raise her hand and say I'm in and um, and then from there we just had we had phone calls, um, you know, one thing you need to know is that uh, they're all in graduate school now. Uh, Kenzie, Kenzie McGuire actually um, has her graduate degree and she's just taking more classes to get even smarter. Uh, Matt Gozel will finish with her degree and, and Stu and, and KK are in their first year in graduate school. So it's really great that they can come back and that the athletic department afforded them the opportunity to come back and have that, that graduate year paid for. Um, so Stewie was the first one to raise her hand and say, I'm in, she did not hesitate. Um, and then Mac, Mac was right behind her. It really fell in, in line with everything. And I think ultimately for all of them, they wanted the opportunity to come back and finish what they started. You know, I think you're looking at some of the, some of the greats to have worn the garnet in black. And I'm happy personally that they have the opportunity to really complete four full years of, of play. Kenzie was probably our big question mark and holdout. She just, it wasn't her head. I mean, she definitely wanted to play. Her competitiveness wanted her to play, but uh, she wasn't sure if her body was going to allow her. So uh, she actually had some surgeries over the summer to, to get well. And, um, and so we've just got to keep the, this group healthy. Uh, so as long as their bodies are going to allow them to play, they're going to be out there and do a great job for us. We'll go back to David. Uh, this was for KK. Uh, KK, good to see you again. Just how strange was this off season for you? You know, after the injury, because I believe you were already home. And then, uh, what was the decision process like for you to go ahead and come back for the season? Uh, yeah. So, as y'all all know, I got injured in the Invitational in Florida, which was a huge bummer for me. And um, the concussion process took super long longer than expected so that was also a bummer for me so as I was getting back into the process of coming back and um, actually going through protocol to be back on the field of my team uh, the day that I actually got to come out here and pitch to some batters and uh, practice again was the same day that they canceled season which was the day I got cleared so um, it was a lot of emotions in my head just like what the heck is going on you know just seeing if we were going to be even able to have another, you know, shot and have another another season. And um, I just remember, like, I was just so upset. And, you know, I just felt kind of blank at the moment. And, you know, I saw where the NCAA came out with, you know, the COVID year. You get your extra year if you were a spring student athlete. And I was just thinking to myself, like, this is going to, like, I think this is it. Like, this is a chance for me, you know, to go back. I didn't get to finish. I played, like, maybe – one and a half games at the start of, you know, the 2020 season. So it was a good opportunity for me to come back and uh, finish with my sisters. And I'm super excited. I could jump in with one real uh, other quick one, uh, Kenzie, Mac, and Stewie. What were y'all's decisions like uh, to come back? Kenzie, I know you, you might've had the injuries and everything, but for the rest of you, was there ever an option to say, well, maybe I can move on, maybe I can go somewhere else? Or what was that decision like? And how long did it take for y'all to say I'm coming back? Uh, we'll start with Kenzie on that, then go to Mo Kenzie, and then we'll go with Lauren. Um, for me, it was just figuring out what my body could handle. Um, I'm very competitive, so I didn't want to miss out on competing for one last year, especially with this group of girls that's on the call right now. Um, but just know, trusting the doctors here, trusting Coach Bev that they have my back, and that if I can do it, I will, and if I can't, I'll still be a part of the team. My decision was fairly easy once we got the okay to come back from the NCAA because I was coming back in the fall anyways to finish my master's degree. So I was like, what's one more semester? Let's um, lengthen it out so I can finish 
um, how I wanted. I didn't want to end in the middle of March. I wanted to go all the way through June. So that's, it was pretty simple decision for me. And once I got the okay from the NCAA, I was ready to be back here. Hello, everyone. For me, it was a very easy decision. Um, it came, the season ended so abruptly, and I knew that we just had so much more unfinished business that we had to do. So I knew that we still had our goals that we put in place our freshman year, and just, just getting the opportunity to be able to come back for our senior year was huge, and I just knew I wanted to do that from the get-go. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go with Cam. Hey, this is for Kenzie. Uh, I remember at this media day last year, you saying that the thing you were most excited for in the, the 2019 or 2020 season, I'm losing track of the years, was <laughs> finally getting to be a part of the Clemson rivalry and you guys finally getting to be, be a part of that. So from the player side of things, how tough was it to have that game taken away? And then how much more are you looking forward to it this year? We were all super bummed just because we've never had the opportunity to play a rival Clemson game. So having the opportunity to do it again for the first time again, is super exciting. I think we're just all excited to have that same rivalry feeling that all the other schools do. And like we've missed out on it last year. It was it was funny looking at the schedule again and seeing their name and just hearing like, oh, Clem like Coach Webb said again, it's the first time we're gonna play Clemson all over again. So we're ready. I will go back to Brandon. KK, this is for you. Um, can you talk about what you think the pitching staff looks like and what you guys think your strengths are as a staff? Yes, so um, personally, I think we have a great opportunity this year with seven pitchers. We're definitely deep um, in our depth with pitching. I think our strengths, you know, I guess you'll find out in season. I don't want to give away all our, um, you know, cues and our good thing so um it's just awesome to add you know the two freshmen to the group and you know to have them and a different you know eye for hitters because you know me kelsey and you know other girls that have been on here we've been seen multiple times just to have fresh arms come in and help us is super awesome especially to have another lefty join rach so skylar um trahan to have her come in and um join the squad is also awesome and then having Leah more like a pitcher like me is super you know great too to have that speed and the down ball but um I think it's going to be awesome this year and I'm super excited for y'all to see. Uh, we'll go to Dylan. Yeah coach you mentioned uh the, the 10 freshmen being the most you've ever had um to start a season off does having that much youth in the room all of a sudden does that kind of change the way you're uh, you're addressing the group? No, I, I don't think so. I, I do think that, um, you know, we've always been based in fundamentals. So we've all we've gone back to fundamentals, but we've really leaned on we've really leaned on the graduates. It's been a nice experience to be able to have them provide the mentorship for the freshmen. Uh, certainly, certainly we go back and we review things and we make sure that the freshmen understand and they're on board. Um, but the nice thing is we had a couple weeks when the team came back, um, we really did kind of a lot of onboarding type activities and uh, feel like we got the freshmen uh, acclimated and on board. And, um, and it's just nice that we have this uh, extra class to, to help with the mentorship of that. But uh, it's, it's been exciting to have them because they're a talented group. And I think when you see us play, you're gonna see that we've added a lot of athleticism to the roster. Go back to Brandon. Hey, Bev, I know uh, there have already been some adjustments to the schedule, um, adding Auburn in what are currently non-conference games. Uh, given that there might be some cancellations, is there any scenario where those become conference games? Not, not that I'm aware of right now, Brandon. And I think you're going to see the schedule continue to juggle. I just was made aware of another schedule change. And again, it was a school that couldn't meet uh, testing protocols. So I think we're going to see some of the shuffling that you're you're seeing in basketball, uh, but uh, I think our team has done a great job just being uh, patient. And we talk about our ability to pivot and be and and uh, we call it sudden change. We can adapt to sudden change. So our team has been well versed in that this year, and I think we'll just keep that mindset going forward for the season. Uh, we'll go back to Brandon. 
um, Lauren, this is for you. Um, Dev was kind of mentioning uh, added, adding some athleticism and some uh, speed on the base paths. Is that going to be a point of emphasis for you guys in the spring? Yes, it definitely is. We have a lot of athletic girls who can play lots of different positions and have lots of speed. So I definitely expect a lot of runs scored and a lot of stolen bases from everyone. Uh, Bev, I'll jump in for one. This is the largest pitching staff that you've had uh, while you've been here. What, as, as a pitching coach, uh, what, what are the pros to that? Um, and, and I mean, just how many, can you kind of talk about all the different options that you have with, with so many arms going into a, a regular SEC weekend? Sure, I think I think it's gonna mat, will match up well and have a lot of a lot of different options, particularly in COVID. You know, there's the opportunity if someone were to test positive, we'd lose people for contact tracing. Um, so I, I think we're gonna have the opportunity one just to get most of our games in simply because we are deep. Um, we're clearly led by our experience, which is Kelsey O and KK Drotar. Uh, they've had the most innings and experience for us on the mound. I think uh, Carson Oaks and Bailey Bettenbaugh both had uh, a shortened freshman experience, but uh, they both had some quality innings for us uh, last year. Uh, Rachel Vaughn for me um, has probably been uh, the highlight uh, from the fall. I think she has um, really been effective in her time on the mound and uh, she offers us a different look being left-handed. And KK mentioned our two freshmen, who Leah Powell and Skylar Trahan. Skylar being another lefty, and Leah being um, KK's protege, who who is likely going to hit uh, in the games that she pitches. So uh, she's she's certainly talented, and she's going to um, keep taking notes from KK as we go through. But uh, I just think having the the mix of experience, righty lefty type of pitches, it'll give us some options, I think, in scouting and seeing how we can best attack our opponent. The other, the other thing I'll just say at the end is I just think the pitchers really trust each other and uh, as well as the defense. I think we feel good about who's on the mound and, uh, and playing behind them. So uh, I think the team has a lot of trust in whoever takes the mound for us. I'll jump in for one more. Uh, Mackenzie, for you, obviously this freshman class uh, was recruited in mind with, with you guys having already graduated, but now that your group is still here, how rewarding has it been for you guys to really play the, the mentor role? Uh, it seems out there that you guys have turned into coaches on the field. So for you uh, in, in your last year, how rewarding has that been to be able to work uh, with this freshman class? It's really rewarding um, being able, we have a lot of depth in the infield that we didn't necessarily have in previous years. So getting to kind of um, help those freshmen out for the um, future years when we are long gone, um, it's really beneficial, I think, for the team. And it's really rewarding to be able to um, just be that mentor to the younger girls. With that, we'll go back to Brandon. Uh, this is for Kenzie. Um, Kenzie, this is your sixth year here now. Does it feel like you're ever going to leave? <laughs> no, it's, I don't want to leave. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, Patrick. Oh, Brooks, sorry. Yeah. I was going to jump in on that. I don't, I don't want them to leave either. I'm <laughs> joking with Kenzie. You know, she's been here almost as long as I have. <laughs> But it'll be it'll definitely be different without this group at practice. Um, you know, they've they've uh, they've certainly meant a lot to the program and they've been here a long time. And it's like I said, extra special that they all chose to come back uh, for their final year, too. So uh, hashtag proud, proud coach. A uh, quick note on that. This is Bev's 11th season. This will be Kenzie's uh, sixth season, which means she's been here for over half of the Beverly Smith era. And with that, we'll go back to Brandon. Bev, I know there's still a week to go, um, but if you were filling up your filling out your lineup card today, how would it read? Wow, um, you know that's something I haven't even gone over the team with, but uh, you know certainly certainly this group are, are all locked into starters. You know, um, Kenzie will be our starting shortstop, uh, Mac Bogle at second base, Stu up the middle, KK on the mound. Um, 
I think Jordan Fabian has done a fantastic job for us behind the plate. We've got three quality catchers in Anna Vest and uh, Leslie Carroll. We call her Chooch. Uh, all of them, I think, can handle our pitchers. Um, we've got freshmen um, taking ground balls. Carly Robbins and Maddie Gallagher at third base both look really good. And then um, Katie Preble, for me, has probably uh, – uh, made the most strides this fall and um, offers so much power for us at the plate. She's likely to be in left field and uh, she's going to be, every time we pitch to her, I just think, oh gosh, I'm glad she is on our team. Um, so Katie Preble has really done, uh, made great strides this fall and looks really good. And then uh, again, just going back to the athletic piece, we have a lot of options uh, for right field, but um, AJ White offers us a lot of speed in the outfield going to catch and at the plate. Uh, Tyler Gleason's done a really good job out there. Um, we've got a lot of options and, you know, I've got a week to figure it out, but uh, it's, uh, that is definitely going to be the challenge is, um, you know, I only get to put 10 names in the lineup and we have a really solid, solid team. That's not going to be an easy job. Uh, I'm not seeing any hands raised in the queue. So final call, if anybody has any last questions, and if not, uh, we're, we're going to end it on that and, and thank, oh, no, Brandon, uh, another question from Brandon. Yeah, um, this is the last one. Uh, Mackenzie, uh, your name's kind of all over the record book. Um, you're near the top or at the top in a lot of categories. Did that kind of factor in your decision to come back for one more year? Um, obviously I would love to, um, break some of those records and have my name at the top of those record books. But the main reason I came back was to finish what we started last season, which is to win a national championship and go out with a bang and get a, get a ring for when I'm done. <laughs>